Hi everybody, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today I want to talk a little bit about sketching gear. All right, so you want to get off on that great sketching adventure. You want to go out and travel the, uh, the great backwoods of your local uh, countryside, or you want to go out in an urban setting and do some sketching. Um, the first thing that you need to do is plan a little bit. If you do a little pre-planning, you're going to be a lot more prepared to go out and, and uh, have a fun and enjoyable time sketching. One of the things people ask me a lot is, what do I need to sketch? And in this video, we'll go over a little bit of that, but I just want to say this. First off, basically this is all you need. A pen or a writing imp implement, like a pencil, decent little sketchbook, with some blank pages inside, just like that. That's really all you need to sketch. And um, if you want to get more elaborate, uh, we'll talk about that too. But in the planning process, you know, you're just really out there to capture the moment. So if you carry these with you, you're always prepared to, to do the sketching um, that you want to do in the field. Now, a couple of tips if you want to go be a little bit more adventurous and expand your uh, sketching repertoire, be able to have all the stuff on you that you're going to need to do the sketching you want to do. You're probably going to need one of these. It's a backpack. This one happens to be water resistant, although a lot of people say carry a waterproof one if you're going to be out of doors for an extended period of time. Um, any kind of like urban backpack will do. This one's nice because it has side pockets. You can carry some extra water in there, which I generally do. Stick it in the side pockets. And then this pocket just happens to be big enough for a brush washer when I do some oil painting in the field. But um, if you're just, and today we're just talking about sketching, so I'll talk a little bit about what goes in this pack when I get out. Um, so that planning I talked about, what are you going to do when you're, where are you going to go, and what are you going to do when you sketch, and what kind of sketching do you want to do? Those are kind of the three main questions you have to ask, and I'll put them down here as well. Um, okay, first of all, uh, where do you want to go sketching? So if you're going to go in an urban environment, indoors or in the city, um, depending on weather conditions, um, you, you probably don't need a lot, you know, if, you, if it's cold climate like it is uh, where I live in the, in the northwest or north, northern midwest, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cold during the winter months, so dress warm. Um, that much should be obvious. Um, bring some, you know, rain gear with you if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time. Maybe an umbrella to protect your uh, work if you're going to uh, be outside in a rainy day or something like that. Otherwise, if you're going to sketch indoors, you know, just uh, bring your gear. Um, that said, if you're going to be in the countryside and you're going to be out in the field, maybe you want some mosquito repellent, some sunscreen, um, you know, an umbrella to keep the sun off you, and a chair. There's lots of like three-legged camp stools you can use. They fold up. They're nice and compact. They make them with aluminum now and um, uh, this tough kind of denier fabric that um, that lasts a long time. I see a lot of sketch artists use those, even in indoors, if they want to sit in a different place or whatever. Bring yourself a pair of these. They're helpful. Sunglasses, you know, keep the bright light off you. Plus, then people don't know you're looking at them. It's a kind of an old sketcher's trick. Um, wear sunglasses. Um, so uh, bring yourself something to eat, like maybe a piece of fruit or a sandwich or something. You can always pack it. It's kind of like going on a picnic. Now, you don't have to do all this stuff. You can just go out, go order a sandwich at Subway, sit down at a table, and start sketching people coming in and out if you want. If you want to do that, um, that's fine. But, um, again, planning is the key. Okay, so where you're going to go, and then now let's talk about what kind of sketching you're going to do. So you're going to do pencil sketching. Are you going to do ink and pen sketching? Are you going to do marker sketching or watercolor sketching? Um, so if you're going to go in the field and do, like, pencil sketching, what I use is this TK9400 Faber-Castell. I bring an eraser, a couple different types of pens, and I bring this um, pit oil pencil with me because I love the way this works. This is a medium, and it's really nice. Um, so all of that fits in this little tin. And I can just take that with me with any kind of sketchbook I use, and then it's light, and I can go wherever I want. If you're going to do marker sketching, You've seen bags like this. I like to buy, um, this like to keep my markers that I purchase and buy in this bag. And these are all um, Faber-Castell Pit artist pens. So um, 
So there's a variety of colors here. I like to take these in this bag if I'm going to do marker sketching and just bring those along. You don't have to bring these. Again, if you're going to do marker sketching, bring them with, then leave everything else away. You know, it kind of forces you into using what you have. Um, if you're going to do watercolor, there's all kinds of little sets that you can buy, portable sets. This one is a Winsor Newton and happens to have a, a brush right in it. And these are little half pans here. So you could use this and you go in the field, um, put this little tray off to the side, and then this slides out here. And you can hold this and paint. And it depends if you're left or right handed, but you know, everything's pretty uh, compact. And if you want to bring like a tripod with you and you've got a setup like a gorilla box, I have a Gorilla Painter's box that I use. I have two sizes. One's a little bit like a cigar box. It's a little small one. And it, it has a tripod mount, and I set it up, and I do painting there. Or you can use a bigger one, and I have that 9x12 one, and it hold pretty good size canvas on it, or canvas board. You can use that. The, the other watercolor I bring with me a lot is this schminky right here, and I'll open it up and show you. And a way to cut down on having to carry a lot of brushes is to carry a water pen. This is a pretty inexpensive water pen here. You fill it with water, as shown. It's got a brush end. Show you that. You just squeeze it. The water comes out. You dip it into paint in the half pan, and then you, you know, mix your color. So yeah, I know this. That's my palette right there. And it's fun. I, I love schminky, and it's easy to use. Um, as far as watercolor pa uh, paper, you know, if you're not going to do a ton of watercolor painting in the field, but you're going to do a little bit, small is better. Hey, this is compact. It's uh, portable. Um, this is some watercolor paint uh, paper that my wife bought me when she was in Europe. And it just comes in these little sheets. And looks like that. It's a little toothy. You can see that. But that stuff works great, and it's portable. Um, now, as far as sketchbooks that you can take in the field, they can range in any size from that small one I showed at the beginning to this uh, Stillman and Byrne. This is a nice, nice sketchbook right here. Um, it's got heavy cardstock-like paper in it. I mean, this is really heavy, so it's and it's really extraordinarily nice paper. I think it's like 300-pound paper. You know, that's just a simple pen pencil sketch. But I've used this this for watercolor. Um, this is from a figure class, uh, sketching in a figure class, and that watercolor, it holds watercolor pretty good. Um, so Stillman and Burn, it's a very nice sketch paper, and this is the Zeta series of the Stillman and Burn. You can just look it up. There's the name right there. Stillman and Burn, the Zeta series. Very nice, excellent paper. This is a, a Ledger or journal from 1941, roughly, and I do some sketching in this as well. It's kind of cool. Um, I picked this up from an artist called Don Colley. He he sketches inside of his uh, inside of these old found repurposed journals that you know otherwise we're going to go to waste or sit there. Um, this is a super deluxe by a B Paper Company. Another kind of really nice sketchbook you can take in the field with you. Um, if you want a little bigger size, you know, um, and just very handy. So uh, those are some different size sketchbooks you can take with you, and as long as they fit in that backpack and you can keep them dry, you're in good shape. So that's just some basics about going into the field for your next uh, sketch adventure, and just getting out there is half the fun and, and doing it. But you don't have to take all this stuff with you. You can just take, like I said, a pen, a pencil, and a pad of paper and sketch away. Um, but if you want to be prepared and, you know, for any kind of, say your mood changes and you're out and you've pencil sketched or you're doing ink and you just want to do watercolor, you can switch right away because you brought the gear. All right, don't forget to leave a comment or a question or your thoughts about sketching in the field, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are as well. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.